With the 2024 Summer Olympic Games just days away, the millions of people expected to visit Paris will see the Notre Dame Cathedral begin to emerge at last, following five painstaking years of restoration. The refurbishment of the 800-year-old symbol of French history and culture is now nearly 90% complete, showing off gleaming new stone, freshly laid tiles and revamped paintwork. And the roof and spire, which millions around the world watched crash to the ground in the 2019 fire, are now almost finished. It's a colossal project with a massive undertaking. 2,000 workers, from carpenters to artists to metalworkers, are making these changes to meet the December 2024 deadline for reopening and it's no easy feat. Notre Dame will only be a spectator to the opening ceremony of the Summer Olympic Games in Paris, which will run just outside of the cathedral along the River Seine, but its own unveiling in December promises to be just as spectacular. Today let's dive into the incredible restoration of the Notre Dame Cathedral, investigating its engineering secrets and the blending of traditional techniques with cutting-edge technology. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Notre Dame's story is deeply intertwined with the history of Paris and France as a whole. Construction started in 1163 under King Louis VII's reign. Its Gothic architecture, featuring towering arches, intricate stained glass windows, and iconic flying buttresses, was a pioneering engineering achievement of its era. Over more than two centuries, master builders and artisans transformed raw stone and glass into a stunning place of worship, with Notre Dame reaching completion in 1345. Throughout its long history, Notre Dame witnessed significant events, including royal coronations, the wedding of Mary Queen of Scots, and the turmoil of the French Revolution, during which it sustained damage but survived. During World War II, its stained glass windows were removed as a precaution, yet the structure remained largely unscathed. However, tragedy struck on the evening of April 15, 2019. Flames broke out in Notre Dame's attic, rapidly consuming its centuries-old wooden framework. Parisians and people worldwide watched in shock as the cathedral was engulfed in fire. The blaze burned for hours, and eventually, Notre Dame Spire, a 19th century addition and a cherished symbol, succumbed to the flames and collapsed. The fire devastated the cathedral, destroying its ancient wooden roof and causing extensive damage. Despite the destruction, there was a glimmer of hope. Firefighters heroically saved many priceless artworks and religious relics, though smoke and water damage were inevitable. In the aftermath, a wave of grief and determination swept across France. Within hours, French President Emmanuel Macron vowed to rebuild Notre Dame within an ambitious five-year timeline. This commitment brought together a global team of engineers, architects, scientists, and skilled artisans in an unprecedented effort to restore the iconic cathedral. The scope of the task was enormous. The challenge was not just to rebuild, but to restore it in a way that respects its historical significance while securing its future. So how did they intend to revive one of the world's most cherished landmarks? In the immediate aftermath of the fire, the cathedral was left fragile and vulnerable. The collapse of the spire and roof exposed the stone vaults. Massive wooden braces installed within the cathedral served as crucial temporary supports, preventing further collapse as restoration work began. Engineers faced a delicate balancing act, stabilizing the building without causing additional stress to its weakened structure. The spire was more than just an architectural focal point. It also contributed to the cathedral's structural integrity. A heated debate ensued over whether the spire should be rebuilt to match the 19th century design or reimagined with a contemporary twist. Ultimately, the decision was made to recreate the original design. Rebuilding the spire requires sourcing over 1,000 large oak trees to replicate its intricate wooden framework. These oaks must match the size and quality of those used in the original construction and are meticulously treated to ensure durability and fire resistance. Grasping the complexity of this task, including the detailed joinery and immense scale, 
is a challenge that extends beyond the capabilities of the human mind alone. That's where the marvels of technology come into play. Imagine being able to examine Notre Dame Cathedral from every angle, zooming in on tiny cracks or visualizing its entire structural framework, all without stepping inside the building. This is the capability provided by 3D laser scanning and modeling. Using this advanced technology, engineers and architects can delve deeply into Notre Dame's structure. They can virtually dissect the ancient oak beams of the spire, tracing their joinery and understanding how centuries of stress and strain have impacted them. This digital twin of the cathedral serves as both a blueprint and a time machine, enabling experts to make the most informed decisions as they restore Notre Dame. Laser scanners emit millions of beams that reflect off surfaces within the cathedral. These beams measure distances and angles with incredible precision, creating an extensive digital point cloud composed of billions of data points representing every surface, nook, and cranny of the cathedral. This point cloud is then transformed into a highly detailed 3D model, a virtual replica of Notre Dame. Engineers use this 3D model to evaluate the structural integrity of damaged areas, identify weaknesses, and devise the best repair strategies. They can even simulate different restoration techniques, seeing how new stones would fit and how the repaired vault would respond to stress loads, all digitally, before any physical work begins. Notre Dame's original builders used specific types of limestone for its construction. To maintain authenticity, geologists are identifying the original quarries to source matching stone for repairs. However, the restoration involves more than just the stone, it's also about the mortar that binds it. Scientists are examining the composition of the original mortar to replicate it, ensuring it integrates seamlessly with the existing structure for a cohesive and durable bond. A key objective of the restoration is to prevent another incident like the 2019 fire. Although the exact cause of the blaze remains unknown, the new design incorporates improved fire safety measures. The intricate wooden framework of the roof is being reconstructed with fire-resistant materials and techniques. Modern fire detection and suppression systems will be subtly integrated into the cathedral's design. The fire significantly damaged Notre Dame's stunning vaulted ceilings, a marvel of medieval engineering. Restoring them requires meticulous craftsmanship. Master masons are using traditional techniques, such as hand-carving stones to match the original profiles and recreating the intricate web of ribs that support the ceiling. Wherever possible, surviving stones are being cleaned and carefully repositioned. Notre Dame's stained glass windows, celebrated for their intricate designs and vibrant colors, were miraculously saved from the fire. However, they had accumulated centuries of grime and were also damaged by smoke and water. Glassmakers meticulously removed each panel, transporting these valuable windows to specialized workshops for thorough cleaning and restoration. Master glassmakers will replace any damaged pieces ensuring the original colors and techniques are closely matched. The heart of Notre Dame's essence lies within its renowned grand organ, housing more than 8,000 pipes, ranking among France's largest. Though the organ's framework was spared, it suffered substantial damage from smoke and water. Skilled organ builders are meticulously disassembling it, cleaning each pipe with precision. The console will undergo updates, and damaged pipes will be replaced. The restoration of Notre Dame extends beyond the structure itself. There are plans to enhance the entire square in front, making it more inviting and aligned with Notre Dame's storied past. Remarkably, the project's cost news $800 million, yet even more impressive is the global response. Donations have exceeded $1 billion. The devastating 2019 fire couldn't extinguish Notre Dame's spirit. Its restoration showcases humanity's ability to preserve something of great significance through collective expertise. When the cathedral reopens later this year, it will stand as a testament to its remarkable engineering prowess. What are your thoughts on the reconstruction of the iconic Notre Dame? Leave a reply in the comments section, 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.